whitecataractcoach.com, the first time doing a white cataract. So good job by this resident surgeon for a tough case. A white cataract can be full of surprises. So for a young resident surgeon, we're going to watch the video sped up a little bit here just so we can get through the whole thing. So obviously fancy equipment here with the video overlay showing you a guide for the capsorexis. Draping is good. We'll like the draping. Eyes in primary. There's the tripan blue dye going in. And yeah, you can see this heads up overlay built into the microscope kind of gives you an outline of where you want that five to five and a half millimeter rex is done. So here comes some viscoelastic going inside the eye. That looks great. And now what are you going to do? Are you just going to do a regular rexus? Are you going to do a needle decompression? Now you already have the big main incision. So it's hard to get the AC pressure too high. Now one thing I would have done, which I think is important, as you fill the eye with just BSS beginning case, even viscoelastic, touch the anterior lens capsule. See how pressurized is the capsule bag. If it was very pressurized, it would have already split just with that poking in with the system. But luckily, it's not too pressurized. So maybe this is a white cataract, but it's not intumescent or fluid filled. There's very little liquefied lens cortex. So you can see here as the rex is being done, tracing that outline, and it looks great, but there's no release of lens milk. So in this case, it was not an intumescent white cataract, fortunately for this resident. Nice tracing of that. Looks it allows you to make a pretty good looking rexus. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, probably for the rest of the surgery, you may want to turn off that overlay. There you go. Now, higher section, be cautious because you can't see the fluid wave. So I wouldn't go right across. I'd go to the side, go to the left or the right. And again, sometimes these white cataracts, you don't even have to hydro dissect because if they have liquefied lens cortex, it's already pre-dissected. Now, going in with the FACO probe, let's see, get that eye back in primary. There we go. That's better. Now, this surgeon is sitting superiorly. You can certainly operate temporal or you can operate superior, whatever makes you happy. So let's see the technique here. Why do we come out of the eye? I don't understand. Okay, more viscoelastic. Okay, okay. Oh, hydro dissection maybe. Maybe it was viscoelastic. Now, fake up back in the eye. And here's some sort of spa spatula or paddle on the other hand. Okay, groove down the middle. Maybe we can do like a stop and chop. That looks good. Rotate. Okay, maybe a divide and conquer. That works too. There we go. Groove, groove, groove. Rotate again. So good job using your hands, keeping the eye in primary. Yes, we have sped up the video. Don't worry about that. But good job using your hands, keeping the eye in primary. Good rotation of the nucleus. I think you're having too much fun. Let's just start splitting this. Yeah, split it a little bit more. Yep. There's a good propagated crack all the way through. Do it again. Propagate that crack one more time. And then keep rotating it. You want these four quadrants fully separated. If they're still attached and you try to bring up one quadrant, it gets stuck. Now, higher vacuum setting on your FACO machine. Much higher vacuum. Bring that up, 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 up. And once that first piece is out, it's much easier because now you have so much more room. The other pieces come out a lot easier. The first piece is the tough one to get out of the bag. Again, beautifully done here. Eyes staying pretty much in primary. Again, we've sped the video up to four times normal speed. So in reality, this surgery took like oh, a little more than 20, 25 minutes, somewhere in that time frame, which is very reasonable for a resident case. And cleaning up that beautiful. Hey, check out the Cataract Coach podcast. The best podcast in all of ophthalmology. Sole purpose, make you a more successful surgeon. Plus, on the cataractcoach.com website, if you're a resident, there's a free PDF book about learning cataract surgery. It's free. There's also a free 25-part curriculum series to learn FACO to make you a fantastic surgeon. All right, I told you it's there. If you don't download it, the onus is on you. Now, cleaning up the cortex here, this resident's done a great job. So look at this case, about how many surgeries do you think this resident has done? I'd say at least 100, maybe even more. I'd say a couple hundred. Let's say 200. And so there were some things that kind of gave it away, going in and out of the incision so many times. Uh, the number of grabs of the capsule rexus creation, which was a lot. But otherwise, the things I did think were quite good. Really liked the way that you rotated the nucleus and you made the grooves there and you separated the nuclear pieces and you brought them up. So the FACO part was actually quite good. Here comes the lens. Let's see what we got here. Probably a single piece of acrylic lens. Slowly, slowly deliver that in the bag. There it is. Open it up nicely. That looks great. Get that. Make sure both haptics and the optic are in the capsule bag. Beautiful. Now, it begs the question, should a resident use that video overlay to judge caps for exercise? Sure, why not? I'm using those forceps, right? You've seen my instruments. 
I have forceps that are marked off at two and a half and five millimeter from the tip, so I'm using that to help judge the size. So if you want to use this video overlay to get a great Rexus, go for it. I think it's a great idea. Look at the proofs in the pudding. That's our funny American saying. That means the result was great, but I don't like this hydration. You hydrate the sides of the incision, but look at the main incision. The roof is the only thing not hydrated. Come on. No, learn the cataract coach way. Hydrate the roof, not the sides of the incision. A light hydration on the roof is far better than this excessive hydration. That hydration right there, that's some irregular stigmatism on post-op day one and not a great happy patient. Patient's not quite happy there. So improve that. Go to the Catacoach website, download that free PDF book, check it out.